Somebody has stolen my identity. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then the thing you gonna do about it, bitch. <laughs> Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, I think, is an amazing business person. I consider him to be somewhat of, of a hero. I mean, I think, I think a lot of people, but mostly black people, should look at how this man conducts his business and how he has become such a success in life. And I really do. And I'm not. I'm, this is not me being sarcastic. This isn't me trying to have some, you know, a little cute spin on this so I can set it up for a joke. I'm not doing that. I really do mean it when I say that I admire the f out of Tyler Perry. I do, and that is the truth. But that does not mean that it cannot be denied that Tyler Perry is f insane. <laughs> Tyler Perry is crazy. <laughs> Tyler Perry, every movie that Tyler Perry releases is a glimpse into this insane thing that he calls a brain. Oh. <laughs> this, this man is... Uh, I love him, and look, I love his work. Probably not for the reasons that he intends, <laughs> but I have not, ha let me just say this, I have not w once had a dull moment watching a Tyler Perry movie. Not even Medea Boo 2? That even had crazy shit in there. <laughs> Sometimes, it, it, while it might not be as funny as the others, there's just moments of filmmaking. I'm like, Negro, you got a billion dollars. <laughs> Why does this look so bad? Yeah. Why does it look so cheap? And he's like, well, it looks cheap. How you think a Negro saves money? Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't spend money. Yeah, I, I can't admire having all the money and all the toys if you don't do anything with it. Yeah. Oh, he does something with it. <laughs> Believe me, he does something with it and continues to do things with it. I'm looking at his latest movie here. For which this man even called me up. He's like, mm -hmm. he said, this Tyler Perry is he's, he's insane. He's crazy. <laughs> He's like, like you, got, you almost like you got uh, uh, molested by him, attacked I, by I, him. I was, I was, <laughs> I've, I've seen a couple of Tyler Perry films, so I'm a little unfamiliar with a lot of his work. Is like, is this, is this the way it always is? <laughs> yes, for the most part, yeah. Oh, yes. great. Yes, it is. <laughs> a lot of content. This, then. I've never. This Tyler Perry guy's crazy. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> you seem truly bothered by this. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad we reached this point, Chris Herman. Yeah, I know now. You, you know, I've been exposed enough to it. Hey, listen, <laughs> the first time is the most painful. Sure, it really is. <laughs> it's a shock. It's a shock. But you get used you, to it. You, you get numb to it, like you guys. <laughs> you, not only will you, not only will you, uh, not only will, you, will it feel good after a while, mm -hmm. but you'll learn to love Tyler Perry. <laughs> of course. <Yeah. laughs> he hurts me first, but then I fall in love with yeah, him later man. on. Yeah, man. It's like in his movies. <laughs> All the characters. Just get it over with. Mm -hmm. I swear, I promise you, Chris Herman, it's yeah. going to be easy and enjoyable from this point on. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yes. Praise Jesus. Can Praise we pick a Jesus. Different metaphor. <laughs> no, no, we cannot. This is the metaphor that fits. Mm -hmm. So we got this movie, as you can see here from Tyler Perry Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, Fall from Grace. Fall from Grace centers on a woman named Grace. She's a uh, she's in her fifties now. Still, you know, she still looks great, man. But the thing is, you know how it is, man. Men are so shallow. Man, you know, they want young chippies out there. They don't want, they don't want no chick my age. So it really confuses her when she sees a young, handsome gentleman take an interest in her. And he tells her, hey, look, you know, a handsome guy like me, well, I've, I've just about f***ed everything on this planet. <laughs> Except you. <laughs> and you know something? I've lived that life. I've done all that stuff. I always just want to settle down with somebody who doesn't want me for my body. And I don't want them for the body. But let's have each other for each other's minds. Of course, you and I being in the audience, we can read this Negro ain't shit. He wants something. <laughs> he wants I mean, something. The fact that he dresses like he just stepped out of 1992 is a clue. Exactly, man. <laughs> exactly. Look like he stepped out the set of Martin. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He, he really does, man. <laughs> God damn. Okay, we got kid. Where's play? <laughs> <laughs> this this shit is crazy, man. It's, it, but we, as we learn, of course, the clues that we expect to learn are, are they're happening. Uh, she has money. Uh, you know, she's uh, she's been vulnerable before in her life. This is probably gonna happen again. And uh, you know, if that if that is the case, then 
surely this guy, this is not pure. This guy's out for something. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer for A Fall from Grace. That's when everything I knew shattered. Who are you talking to? Grace. They don't like being checked up. Bitch, I told you not to interrupt me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people, y'all look at this like, damn, this trailer's giving away a whole lot. Oh, it does, no. Somebody has stolen my identity. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't a f- thing you gonna do about it, bitch. <laughs> it's your fault. You made this too easy. Remember your age, low hanging fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, so, oh, he looks like a one of those country bears. Yeah, the whole room, whole room saw your man over here and just started laughing. Tyler Perry himself, whole room just cracked up. Don't make me go back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I should have never signed on to this. Movie. Yeah, that was that was the real Cicely Tyson. That was no acting. Don't make me go back on that set, please, please God. Oh, darling, if you see the devil, won't you tell him? I knew that I was going to be in love with this. <laughs> I knew from the beginning, boy, because this just had too much, too many vibes of a movie I already love. How many Tyler Perry movies have you seen? Oh, probably five. Five? Yeah. Okay. Do, have you seen I know you said you haven't seen it yet. Mm-mm. I don't know if you've seen this. You can tell me if, after we watch this, but this just seems like a cheaper version of one of my other favorite Tyler Perry movies. That bad, huh? Why am I wasting my time best. helping old men get yeah, a date? I yeah, I have to get out and start my own practice. <laughs> What's that? The largest social media inventors. <laughs> the guy that they had before they found Makai Brooks. <laughs> Zuckerberg is looking to invest in my company. Oh, you notice me, Rhonda? I, 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 got me there. Checkmate. <laughs> Man, that is temptation. This no, looks like no, a that cheap. one I saw. <laughs> okay, I didn't know you had seen that one. There's Acrimony I haven't seen. Oh, Acrimony. Oh, boy, you got to see that one. This is the, this is, this is... Tyler Perry at one of his craziest, man. Yeah. This is when I realized I was like, yeah, no, he's he's definitely mentally ill. You know what? Watching uh, Temptation, Temptation is funny to me, man. Because this is him, you know, no Medea. This is him trying to be serious, and mm-hmm. like, like this, this, like serious Tyler, dramatic Tyler. That's the funniest. Yes, those are some of his <laughs> best <laughs> comedies. Way funnier than the comedy. <laughs> yeah, those are some of his best comedies, man. There's a lot of running themes with. Uh, with this movie that it has in common with with Temptation. One of those being, first of all, the hair. The hair in this. The, oh, yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, listen. And the Elmer's glue that's holding it together. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a, as if he went over the budget and said, y'all, we are spending way too much on wigs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I, I know there's a party store right down the street. There's, I didn't find any pictures and I, and I, Try my best, but at the end of uh, this is a little bit of a spoiler. But at the end of Temptation, they got some twist that happens, and, and it is some of the worst facial hair and, and and hair that I've ever seen. And meanwhile, looking at this, it looked like somebody took Tyler Perry's head and just dumped it into a, and it, it <laughs> looked like they dumped it into into a cotton candy machine yeah. and just swirled his head around. <laughs> There was a cartoon that came out a long time ago. It was a Bugs Bunny cartoon. And I might be a little racist doing this. I don't mean to be. But I want y'all to look at Tyler Perry. Take a good look at him. He reminds me of this character, a little, a little outback wild man that was in a Bugs Bunny cartoon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now look, Major Boy, don't give me no trouble. And get a real <laughs> wig. <laughs> y'all can't tell me that that don't look a little bit like Tyler Perry. <laughs> Y'all know that that shit is true. Looking at Makai Brooks, it look you know what it, it looks like. His hair came with a strain that should be tucked under his chin. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm like looking, a yeah, box. I'm looking for the chin strap that goes with it. <laughs> I mean, y'all look at this shit. You you can see how clean that is right there. That shit is. He might as well be wearing a box on like, his head. I think it's a whole forehead attachment that goes on, and they smooth it out. It, it could, cause it's very shiny right yeah. there. Yeah. All I can say is that y- y'all look at that. That looks that looks that looks like a. 
hat. Especially yeah. when you that don't look like hair. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> His regular head is on it. That shit looks like, I mean, look at that. I last when I, when I was talking about this last week, I said it looks like a cake on his yeah. head. That, <laughs> that does not look real. With a uh, uh, Macab Brooks in this movie, now uh, you see Macab Brooks. Uh, these guys just they, they start out real nice. Macab Brooks is the same way when you see him. He uh, there's a moment here where he starts out uh, very nice, being very romantic, very charming, taking her out to see uh, see a, a, a beautiful sights at night. What is this, baby? What is this? Spirit. Spirit. Oh, Shannon, that's real. Oh, After Effects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend they're there. Yeah. Just, you know, just be mesmerized yeah. and shit. <laughs> All right. Keep pulling the Cosmo Red drug this chick right <laughs> Soon the LSD kicking in. <laughs> Are those fireflies? Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah you want to be. <laughs> I mean, you make fireflies look cheap. How is that possible? That it's is just yeah. a light. It, yeah. That's all that is. Bug. That's just a light. I hope it looks terrible. Oh, God. They disappear. They're they not should on do. Screen anymore. Mm-hmm. But th- after a while, these two, these, these, these dudes, they just, they just snap. Once they, once they get married, or immediately when uh-huh. they, when they get their, their foot through the door and, and get it planted firm in these women's lives, that's when they just turn not just assholes but evil, like the dude from Temptation. It got to a point where he just turned into a. A drug, a, a addicted demon with AIDS mm-hmm. that he passed out like like free samples. <laughs> wow, he's so evil that he hangs out in clubs that look like levels of hell. <laughs> like you see right now, this for taking from somebody's TV because I don't think I could find. But you see, like you know, fire and shit. <laughs> you know, he's so high he can't even button his shirt right now. He's, you know, he's uh. If you watch the whole clip, there's like fire erupting around them. There's other dudes in there looking like demons with their shirts off. Subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. very subtle. Yeah, yeah. Very much so. That's the, that's the uh, Tyler Perry's middle name, yeah. subtle. In the same way with the boy. Uh, <laughs> same way with the boy, uh, <laughs> Macaw Brooks, who plays Shannon, uh, so-called photographer artist who happened to sweep her off her feet when she came to one of his shows. Uh, with him, he, his, I mean, he turns, just like these guys in these movies, he turns into a completely different person. Uh, His skin's too dark. A, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he can't be no good guy. When he gets married, when he gets married, he, he, like his whole lifestyle changes. He is a, he's a different personality. I want you out of my house. But let me just say, his evil, his evil nature... <laughs> It makes for some of the best lines, <laughs> best lines that I have ever heard what? in a movie. It was bad enough that he watch. had taken all my mm. money, but here he was laughing. You watch. How much? Ashtray. Ashtray, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite line in movies this year, man. He sells it. <laughs> he, sells, he sells that shit, man. <laughs> I, I love that line. I made a clip for myself today. I just played that shit over and over again. Ashtray, bitch. Ashtray, bitch. <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah. I love that. Somebody even texted me today. Oz texted me today. He said, Ashtray, bitch. I was like, I'm one step ahead of you, man. I know. I already got that ashtray, man. Uh, Martin. Well, well, he did the same thing in his first movie, uh, uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Oh yeah, the, the 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 evil husband. I was like, man, I want to hate this dude, but he's got so many great lines. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. stuff he would say was just so cold blooded. You're like, god damn, no human being would say that to another person. But Jesus, <laughs> that no, was funny. That's one thing Tyler Perry will do. He knows how to make a villain. Yeah, <laughs> that motherfucker needs to write somebody to go up against Thanos. <laughs> but this guy's life completely changes, man. Completely changes. Yep. I'm not talking about just like. I'm not talking about just talking shit. Like, uh, like he, like when I say he becomes a totally different person, I want to like if you can just, just look at what he's doing right here. Like he just becomes like not, not just lazy, but he just he becomes like oh yo, look, look, look at this right here. Like, look at this guy. Jesus, just lazy, just lazy. Look at this guy. Oh, and this guy too right here. But he like he becomes like just lazy. Yeah, and just evil. lazy. But look at the like. Like uh, like he didn't smoke before, but now he's so evil that he smokes. Not only does he smoke, he but he smokes scene. inside. And I want y'all to take a look at what's going on. Not only does he 
Does he uh, he smokes so much that he's got a cigarette in his hand and also one behind his ear? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's how evil he is. <laughs> Moo ha ha! <laughs> oh my God, he's also a drunk. Look at all those beers on the table right there. <laughs> oh dang! <laughs> like this mother kept his his habits under check until he could unleash on her. Uh-huh. It gets even better, man. Like this woman's talking about. I'm trapped in this marriage now. There's nothing I can do because he's my husband. I doubt that's the case. Me too. I mean, especially as far as he goes. As far as he, because it gets to a point where he starts bringing hoes to the house. And then right in front of her. (laughs) And when she interrupts, you're like, bitch, what you doing interrupts? I'm talking, the door was locked. Get the out of here. And he pushes her out. And then he comes with one of those great one-liners again. (laughs) This This is how evil he is when she, it's not, it's, it's bad enough that the girl says that that looked like his mama, but he has to add insult to injury. So you brought me to your mom's house? My mama looked better than that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, uh, and, and yet, she has no case to file for divorce. Well, especially with the way he's stolen money in yes. her name. Mm-hmm. That, that That's criminal right there. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. That's not even hers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. But yeah. apparently he's such a great hacker he said but that oh, no one can find a no, no one can find a trace. <laughs> no one can find a trace, even though he's went through every account, that she, every account that she has. And not only could it, it couldn't even just stop with her personal account. He hacked into her business <laughs> so that he could steal from her job. And I want you to notice, like y'all saw it in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Y'all saw it in the trailer where they don't, you know, they don't wait to find out what happened. You have 24 hours to return the money or you're going to jail. What? You don't fire people like that. No, you don't. Mm-mm. If you do that, they, they can get away with whatever's going on. They can, oh. She can go to Mexico. Mm-hmm. You have 24 hours to get your stuff and get out. Oh, f- catch her, catch her. <laughs> 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 get her. What happened? Why am I trying to make logic out of this shit? If I you are embezzling money, hard. they keep your ass there. Mm-hmm. They, they they lure you on to think to make you think nothing's happening. Yeah. They hire somebody to find out to how this happened. And, and yeah, yeah, before they let you go, they don't let you know what's going on so you can cover your tracks. <laughs> and I also like how just people. Again, this is this is the movie world where people uh, who don't know how the real business world works. It's cause there's a lot of you're fired and. <laughs> You know, maybe they use that when you work at McDonald's or something. Uh-huh. But I want y'all, if you work at an office, you go, you hardly going to hear the words, Smith, you're fired. <laughs> you, you're you will not. Nope. <laughs> You'll be taken into a room. You'll have a termination consultant talk to you. <laughs> you go over, you go over your, your exit interview. It'll be explaining to you what you did <laughs> and how, how all your assets have been frozen. On a room full of invested. yeah, on a room full of white dudes call you in. You're fired, <laughs> Jetson. <laughs> yeah, that's that is that's some Hanna Barbera shit. Flintstone, you're fired. <laughs> the shit turns into a courtroom drama as Grace is found to be uh, guilty of killing uh, or is at least uh, arrested. She's she's a she's she's, she's, she's that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Yeah, there's, there's no there's no habeas corpus in this world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, they tell you the trailer like this. Possible that she finally killed this this. Trifling ass motherfucker, and so she goes to jail for his murder. What I love about jail in the in Tyler Perry world is like, no matter how long you've been in jail, like you could just have been sent there, your hair is gonna get messed up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like she's been in for a while, but uh, 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 what what's her name here? Bess, I forgot this. Um, Jasmine, um, I think. Uh, yeah, like Jasmine is the character's yeah, name. Yeah, I don't know the actress. Uh, that is the lawyer that is trying to. Uh, 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 Get her uh, uh, acquitted in this trial, or, or get her off in this trial, because uh, she has been usually put on cases where they do please, because she's not that good of a lawyer. Mm-hmm. She sucks. She's, she's she's terrible. She's pretty bad throughout. She's yeah. a she's an awful lawyer. Yeah. She, she's a aw- she's the worst. <laughs> she's the only. She is. She's the only lawyer that will go to jail with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we find the defendant and the, <laughs> and the defender guilty. Both of y'all guilty. <laughs> Jazz, uh, 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 Grace has been in there for a while, so I can understand how I have no products turn your ass to Medusa, but she's been in here for like an hour. And yes. her, hair is, her hair is messed up. It's falling apart. But the funny thing is, even when they go to court, just, you know, uh, not so subtle Perry, 
Just to let you know, just in case you didn't get it, this woman's having a hard time. So even when she goes to court, hair still looks yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, she walks into that's court bullshit. hair looking like that. I was like, man, come on. Even as her lawyer, you go like, hey, let me fix you up. Exactly. <laughs> if the jury sees you like this, they're going to automatically think you're Yeah. Crazy. Shit. Even if I got to... Even if I gotta dress you up like Tyler Perry when go in there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he shit talking throughout the entire goddamn, film. Yeah, this this Barry White wig on you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of people that suck, he's no better. He's yeah. No, he, he's he, not. he's just he's just awful. The yeah. only time he's good is when he's talking shit to her. Mm-hmm. He really is. He just shows up. <laughs> Everywhere she goes, he doesn't even show up to like to like supervise a trial or look at her performance. He shows up to fuck with her. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> he just does dad uh, just bad stage acting where it's like he asks for like a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee. It's like that whole thing. He yeah. gets a cup of coffee. There's clearly no coffee in there, but he does the whole like oh, this is terrible. It's like what is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like high school level. Yeah. If that, yes, he should does. Yeah. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> For my character, I wanted to channel the greats, like uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so they go to court, man, and the, I like the way there's there's nothing clever. Like the only thing you have for a a, a, a courtroom drama is how they cleverly pre- present the evidence, uh-huh. even though it's a hack. It's considered to be a hack format now, but that's the good, the only good thing they have. How clever are you going to be about presenting the ab- evidence and making your arguments? And this, they don't even do that shit. They they actually have a point where they they're they're going through uh, witnesses and they do it a montage, <laughs> different people on the yeah. <laughs> different people on the on the stand, mm-hmm. and they all are just kind of like you know just like like the uh, this between like you and me just <laughs> they don't even get a chance to say anything. They just have different expressions. <laughs> Well, that's <laughs> – I mean, throughout this whole thing, man, the way the, sh- the shots are set up, they are all so flat. They really they are. Like, I, 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 I won't even compare it to a telenovela or a soap opera because those have some life to them. But these are just cameras set up in one spot, and we just keep it there. And, one, and it's, yeah. the, it's the least interesting shot you could possibly – Use for e- every scene, and the gray blue uh, color palette doesn't help either. That makes it even more flat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's a scene in here, and I didn't want to get the whole scene, but uh, you can see right here. There's a lamp right on these. Mother- they might as well be burgers in the, under the heat. <laughs> <laughs> they might as well be under the heat lamp at Burger King, right? <laughs> Got that sheen. Got that sheen. Yeah. There's a scene here where the lighting is so bad. Tyler Perry. I don't know, man. So I've seen some of his movies where they're fine, but a lot of times there've been some movies where he's made them so quick. I think this was shot in five days. Five I days. Mm-hmm. So that's what the the main actress said. The one who plays Jasmine said in interviews. Oh, not a brag item. Yeah. <laughs> and some sometimes he shoots his movies so quick that you can see uh, how they how they just quickly set up the lighting and the lighting is flat. There's a scene where they just they, they go from like really harsh light to just darkness. Mm-hmm. You can't even see him. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I, like I said, he made this quick, so I'm not gonna say like it's because he lacks skill. But man, some of these movies are uh, made yeah. so fast. Mm. Mm-hmm. I've, I've seen, seen some. I, I've seen student films that look much better than this. <laughs> 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 Going to that courtroom stuff, man. I'm like, this, this is this is this is fun, man, and everything. But <laughs> you know, you, you got it. You got it. You got you got to bump this up a little bit. But the whole time you're watching the courtroom scenes, don't you just feel sorry for Grace? Yeah. She has nobody defending her, really. <laughs> oh, I know. And Brisha, <laughs> Brisha are. Webb, Brisha Webb plays the lawyer. She yeah. don't do shit for this woman. She, she does. She makes it worse. <laughs> she does. She does make it worse. <laughs> There's a all point. Good that, witnesses. That's why she's in jail because she couldn't shut up. Yeah. The look, the, the judge even told her, like, you, what you're doing is backwards. You don't. We're done with this. She tried to call up a witness after after, <clears throat> after they after the after the parties rest. Yeah. Yep. Like they supposed to get wait for the verdict and shit. He's like, I ain't gonna sit down. I'll call up the witness. Slam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bigger complaints. I'm having fun, but some things in here are just all right, you know, for for, for this being a film from a guy who has a, a whole studio, there are things that you should know how to cover up. And he in Tyler Perry, you know he has Tyler Perry Studios. It's an amazing, an amazing studio that is it's so it's Jesus. it's so much land. It's it is it is a city. Tyler Perry owns a kingdom. He owns a city. <laughs> a fiefdom. <laughs> a fiefdom. <laughs> yeah. Tyler Perry owns a city. There are neighborhoods in there. He's got a replica of the White House. They have restaurants and bars and gyms. I mean, if it like when they aren't shooting, they're living there. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, man. And I and like I say, I, again, I love Tyler Perry for what he has. People should everyone should look at him and see what he what he did to get to where he is. Except me write scripts. But you know, other than that, <clears throat> but uh, hey, even if you have complained about it, it got him where he is. I'm not even I'm not even mad, but I'm not looking down on this. 
There's an audience for it. I even have fun. I don't think it's great, of course, but whatever. But you cover your shit up a little better, man. I don't know if you noticed this, but there's so many buildings made out of red brick. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did notice. On this, on, 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 on this set, or at his studio. <clears throat> and within the movie, and within the movie, there, there are so many places that are made out of the same red brick. It's almost like this, this town is built out of red brick. Her, her home, the place she works, the courthouse they go to. There's just random buildings in the background when, when, when Macabre Brooks is courting her. There's always a red brick wall somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, you know, ha, you, you own a kingdom. Put some variety in there. It's almost like the only thing that was left open was the red brick, the red brick lot. Because there's a there's a whole neighborhood made out of these. And if that, you ever look at a is a if you ever take a tour, you can go online and look at a tour of the studio. And that's what adds to the cheapness. When I watch, it, I was like, is everything just five feet away from each other? Yeah. Because oh, look the same. <laughs> yeah. And no, I was no, like, oh, like, I did feel like. That. But he does, as you said, he has a fiefdom, but everything looks the same. So it's like I can't help but feel that way. It, it makes it cheaper in the end. I noticed it because it never happens in movies, even though I think naturally it should. But it, mm -hmm. it's a, it's kind of a rule where the extras. Will look look at the the, the actors talking yeah. at the diner. The, the, the diner. diner. The, the old diner. guy. The old guy in the macaroni. Oh my god! Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. that dude. Yeah. Yeah. It was the guy. He would he, he wouldn't eat it at all. He'd just be in the same position, <laughs> look to the side occasionally, and look directly at the camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't like, know anybody else noticed that. Yes. The old dude with glasses. Old dude with glasses. There's, there's a woman who does it also, but mm -hmm. you you really see the old guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's so. looking right at. He's looking at you <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. The, the one thing I thought I was like, huh? It, it, it was unnatural because it's never in movies. But I was like, you know. When you really are eating somewhere, people might be doing their own thing, but they'll look over at you. I, sure. I know I look around at the people who are there. It's a, it's you know, in life it's a natural thing, but in a movie you're like that's no, a big no no. No no. It's but they they weren't doing reshoots with nobody. Nope. Oh, not in five days. He's, he's, <laughs> he's here in the, in the in the trailer, but he had, they got they edited the trailer the way he puts his head down. Mm. Yeah, but when you watch that the movie, that dude right back yeah. there in the same position, yep, right not there. touching that mac and cheese, not at all. <laughs> Looking right at the camera the whole time, <laughs> almost like he like almost like Macab Brooks had <laughs> him <laughs> and did him wrong. Oh, he's about to like he's back there, there. <laughs> like he's spying on him. Like I'm gonna get you, mother. Because he looked like he's looking at Macab Brooks uh -huh. the whole time, uh -huh. but he's really looking at us. That watch if you watch the movie, yeah, watch how long that guy <laughs> around just fiddles with whatever's on that plate mm -hmm. and doesn't eat and looks straight at the camera. And they didn't try to edit that shit out at all. Nope. We got five days to put this shit out. It's almost like like, like he, it's almost like Tyler Perry made a deal with Netflix and sat on his ass until they had five days right? to make this movie. <laughs> All right, wake up, everybody. We actually got to do this. <laughs> uh, you know what? I tell you, I, I do think that Tyler Perry is a good actor. I do think he's a good actor in yeah. this. He just doesn't have good lines and it's a silly-ass role he gave himself. Uh, when he writes dude, for himself. I, I mean, he writes for himself, but I also notice that even his delivery, he's, he's not good. He was only good in Gone Girl. Yeah, I, and, and it's almost yeah. like what he took away from that experience yeah. wasn't how to act, but it made him go like, "I want to make my own movie like that." <laughs> like yeah, because that's that's what this tries to be. Yeah, I, you know, mm. I, I, I didn't mind him. I just thought he just gave himself really bad material because he gave himself his material. <laughs> I, I've seen him act, and I think, and I, I could see it. I could see the presence right there. I could see, I could see, what, you know, him being if he has good roles or good lines. And ain't wearing convincing hair, you know. Then you could you could uh, you could see him because I like I've seen him be good. You know, I guess if he's under a good director too. Yeah, well, yeah, because most of the time he he delivers his lines, but it almost looks like he's smiling when he does it. Yeah, he's not supposed to be. Mm. I I liked him in this. It's just the movie I didn't like. I, yeah, I I, I, I I can't say I thought he was terrible. I, I thought he was the worst ass because he was I, trying so hard to be the, like the hard ass boss. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, you're not. That's that's not coming across. Yeah, whatsoever. again, that's the writing that he gave himself. Yeah. Like I said, I've seen him. I think he's a good actor. I think we're all even saying the same thing. He's just not good. No, no. You no. saying you saying he's you saying he's good, and we're saying he's not. I he's saying, not. No, I not am, this. no. I am saying he's a good actor. I am standing by that. I I do think he's a good actor because we've seen him be a good actor. I mean, look, he's doing his own material. You know, it ain't, it ain't shit nobody can do with that. <laughs> you know, just because he wrote it don't make him any better right. either. Cicely Tyson, man, Cicely Tyson just trying oh, to escape. That was sad. Cicely Tyson is 95 years old. She's just trying to, she's just trying to get out there. Right. She's, <laughs> they called her leaving the set. They put her ass right back in. Yeah. Cicely Tyson is 95. She's, because Cicely Tyson. 95, she's still the best actor in this whole thing. She is. Yep. No, she I is. Agree. If you want to call that acting, I, I, I want to go back. It's method acting. <laughs> Please don't make me go back. There. <laughs> Shit, she, yeah, really, she had a lot to draw from. Yeah. <laughs> she was really trying to escape. 
Tyler Perry, he put this whole thing out about, and then we'll get into the spoiler if you want to hear. We, he did this whole thing about work ethic, which, again, I respect. I, and, I, and the man's successful. I, I admire his success. Uh, it's easy to make fun of him, yeah, but I do. I do. And I, when he says this, I respect the sentiment behind <laughs> I respect the sentiment behind it. Jesus. <laughs> so I wrote all of these scripts by myself in 2019. What's my point? Work ethic. Okay. Oh, brother. You, you, <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I, I do respect that, but it doesn't take long to write something when you don't use logic and you know when you could just when you could just uh you could just run over common sense and ignore logic yeah and yeah. ignore doing a second draft <laughs> yeah, yeah I, you know when you don't have to like when you don't have to like uh respect common sense you know uh, and anything you these things can be written fast yeah right. yeah when you don't have a writer's room where there's other writers who you know you have to impress, or who yeah. will say like, Ugh, "Dude, that's terrible. We're not using that." You need someone like that yeah. to say that. No, that's yeah, exactly. Yeah. But again, why I, I, we can sit up here and talk about it, you know how bad these are. We want to. He's found his niche audience that will like it. That's mm-hmm. all that matters, man. I, I don't want to be one of these critics who sits up here and just says, "You know, look how bad this shit is." F- this guy, he's a success because. He found the audience that loves his stuff. It doesn't matter whether it's good or bad, you know? I mean, it gets to a point where somebody has built up their business based on what their audience wants. You're it right, but them. it does irritate me that he would have this video where he's going, yeah, but see, I do it all myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, he did. <laughs> what, for, for better or worse? Yeah. <laughs> see, y'all need to be like, listen, <laughs> listen to your old Uncle Tyler, because I got a work ethic. That's how I get it done. That's why I say, man, you know, I, I can't, Praise everybody like this. There's a lot of people out there who produce <clears throat> bullshit, and they just they straight up do it for the money, and they forget about it. Tyler Perry is doing this because he likes to do it. That's why he's been as, success, as successful as he has. Uh, I, it's hard for me to go in and really, really look. I'm gonna tell you what it's about. I ain't gonna lie to you, shit, because I, I, I ain't blind. You know, I sat up here and watched this. I can sit up here and praise his work all I want to. I, mean, I wouldn't be doing my job. I told you, but you know, based on work ethic, this is a full price. <laughs> nah, it's, I have fun with this. It's a poorly made movie it's because it's a rushed movie. Mm-hmm. It's a movie that I, I'm not even saying he can't do it. You know, it's, it's a rushed film. And the only thing I can say that's really great about it is uh, it's unpredictable. You know, you can't see where it's going. Uh, I, You know, it's, yeah, so it's some old bullshit. But you know what? I give it, I'm entertained by it, and I give it, like, the best some old bullshit I can give. <laughs> you know, I, I ne- like I said, I've never seen a Tyler Perry movie where I did not have fun. Why are you getting quiet? <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to get done. <laughs> he gets so disappointed. He just got like that's why I keep going because I'm gonna stop like, listening now. He's just like he's just like this asshole doesn't know what he's talking no, about. No man, you're 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 entitled to your your opinion just like we all are. Yeah, and 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 I respect that. Uh, I I I don't have it in me to respect what he does. Uh, because there's a point where starting out, I could. I was like, man, he's doing it all by himself, all himself, and and I and, you know I I gotta appreciate the craft. But it's been some years, decades now, and he's gotten more resources and does so little with it. I didn't think it was as crazy or even as bad as some of his other stuff, but it's still some old bullshit. It's just, it's just not. It's not. It, I'm not enthusiastic about it. It's not like a high some old bullshit. It's just a some old bullshit. I, I can see why someone would admire what he's been able to accomplish, built this empire for himself, but... He, what he produces is just is, is terrible. Like all the products. I've seen like a handful of his films, about five. There's really one I'm like, I can get some enjoyment on. Like the, my, my, the Diary of a Mad Black Woman. I think, oh, it's fine. I like the Medea character. She's okay. But yeah. the rest of his films, they're just trash. Yeah, like you guys. Yeah, this is, this is, this is some old bullshit. You know, I mean, I will still argue on my, beha- on my behalf of him because it's not like I'm encouraging him. But why should he get better when there's an audience that buys his stuff that he's built a whole studio, the, the biggest studio out there? It's, it's, the, it's bigger than Warner Brothers and Disney combined. It's like, I don't even ask for this shit anymore for him to get better because there's no reason for him to. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I know exactly what they're doing. I just sit back and just, at this point, because like I said, it'd be different. It'd be, it'd, it'd be different if this was so bad that I was bored. I see enough bad, bad shit. And you know I see more bad shit than you do where it's like, man, I, this is boring. Do little. <laughs> you know, do little doesn't entertain yeah. me like this. Mm. This shit is entertaining. And I say it's entertaining. It's entertaining, you know, you know, just because, yeah, he's making a bad film. There you go. You can see that woman over there looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> Was she? 
The one behind McCod oh, Brooks. These mother can't it's stop. I love just stalking the side eye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All these extras trying to get, <laughs> I'm gonna get my trying to get a little screen time. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we talking about this spoiler here. But let me tell y'all about this real quick. When I said y'all don't understand what's happening, y'all really don't. Y'all saw y'all think there's a story about Macabre, Macabre Brooks coming in and uh and taking advantage of a woman who uh is vulnerable. That's the setup. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that don't that is the setup. Uh you know what he is? He's just kind of a henchman to the real mastermind behind this. The real evil brain behind this is Felicia Rashad. Yep. <laughs> Felicia Rashad, who's y'all didn't even think was that <laughs> 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 Felicia Rashad, who's not even in the trailer that much. Yeah, just a bit. When she comes in, she uh she acts like she's Grace's friend. Yep. She's like, you know what? I got your, ba- mm-hmm. I got your back, Grace. Mm-hmm. This my ain't gonna do nothing. Go out and date. Get out of the house. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Shit. Uh, yeah. Go out and date. Get out the house. Go, go meet a man. Oh, yeah. Oh, little did y'all know that that was a setup. <laughs> Tyler was <laughs> with your mind. <laughs> the Cosby mysteries continue. <laughs> I could talk to my wife. I'm not going anywhere. Ooh, such loyalty. Mm-hmm. Fierce loyalty. Tell him, tell him, Felicia Rashad. Turns out, now here's where I want y'all to really brace yourselves. Strap in. <laughs> Strap in. Turns out that her and Macabre Brooks were in on this scheme where they were embezzling money from middle-aged to senior citizen women. And not only were they in on the scheme, but Macabre Brooks is her son. Yeah. So, 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 <laughs> oh, <laughs> now, now this is where we all have the, 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 the at least Tyler Perry to do this because this is where we all have the the flashback. Oh, wait a minute, that's what that meant. So you brought me to your mom's house. My mama looked better than that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. What about the, that that other line where he laughed? We thought that laugh, we thought that laugh was uh, was for no reason. You son of a bitch! <laughs> the irony, <laughs> she doesn't get it. She, <laughs> this bitch don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, she. She, uh, her, and and and, and, and Macaw Brooks. Th- he and the funny thing is, none of this makes sense. None of it. Yeah. Mm-mm. None of this makes sense. But but I, I, not to compliment this, but it was something that was set up from the beginning. It wasn't a man. How can we have a surprise? Let's pull it out of our ass. I was like, okay, the clues are always there. Yeah. There were clues, but even mm-hmm. then, there's other things that don't make sense. Like he was never a photographer. He was never an artist. Yeah. How yeah. the did he do this whole art show <laughs> where he like the, the staff is like, oh, do, we want you to meet this famous artist here. Mm, he's well known. I no. guess maybe he stole one of the pictures from one of the women that was an, a photographer. Uh, the, the woman who dies in the beginning, those were her photos. That was her stuff. But see, even oh. then, it's like these, they've been doing this for 25 years. Yes. They've been, in, they've been embezzling women. But now you got to understand this. They weren't just in. They weren't just em- embezzling these women. <laughs> they would. Here's where it gets crazy. Yeah. They would. First of all, they would take the money. Then they kidnap them. And this was this is where the horror movie part comes in. Mm-hmm. They would chain them in a basement mm-hmm. and all keep them it. there all for years. About, about twelve of them. Dozens. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like about twelve women down there just pissing the shit on themselves, and they would keep them locked up down there for years until they escaped and would just commit suicide. Mm-hmm. You know, and but twenty five years, no one ever asked. Out of all these women for twenty five years, there was never a missing person report. There was never nobody following a paper trail. You had one of the dumbest cops in this film. Oh my god, this cop! <laughs> this, this, this cop has a penchant for handcuffing people and then and leaving. And then Link goes going, stay right there, stay and then <laughs> taking off. She kicks right off so the they goddamn door. Go, the f- and he gets to get up and run away. <laughs> this dude, he, yeah. he does this twice within 10 minutes. Yep. There's a dude that he puts on the hood of a car and says, stay there. And then he, he gets a call. He drives off with the dude still on the hood of the car. <laughs> hey, f- <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, this, this dumb motherfucker right here 
flat top number two. <laughs> you know? he, Who's your husband? He, he's the one that kicks in the door, and, and when he hears uh, that Felicia Rashad is a guilty one, he handcuffs her and says, "Stay here." And he goes after his wife, and Felicia Rashad. Felicia Rashad, she's like, she just hobbles on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she wasted no time. Yeah, going. Here's, the, here's, here's the last scene. It ain't over. They actually have you hear a woman talking about, "Oh, I love taking care of the elderly." Y'all know. Who the this is what I'm even trying to, trying to build up this. I love taking care of the elderly. Oh, it's what I do. I just love handling it. And it turns out it's Felicia Rashad with different colored hair going in to strike again. Yeah, yeah. she's like a blonde wig on. At the end of the movie, you find out that another big reveal mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. when you thought Makai Brooks was dead, oh, he was not. And you're gonna and really you're gonna do a big what the f when you see what happens to him. Cause she. I mean, if you think about it. And he has what's coming because he's talking oh, shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Monologuing. He's, yeah, you, he's yeah, monologuing you, you, with his back turned. You don't talk shit with your back turned. With your back. When, when there's a shadow looming over you, <laughs> especially when they have dramatic. This is the only good lighting in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You made this too easy. But you don't think. Grace, I'm <laughs> She Negan's the f out this dude. She oh, murdered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all see that? Yeah, don't, don't worry. It turns out it's okay. Yeah, y'all, y'all see, y'all see that right there. Yeah. Now, now y'all see that right the there. Look, take a look at this. Gone. <laughs> he, this motherfucker side of his head is gone. Ain't nothing mm -hmm. but brain and skull right there. Yep. At the end of the movie, he shows back up with one of these cartoon bandages <laughs> around his head and a black eye, and, black, and that's black it. Eye. <laughs> he walks away from that. <laughs> They can't keep the dude down, uh, man, even though he should be dead. <laughs> and he's still good. There was a stretch outside. <laughs> right. no, so he no. survived, okay. He survived, yeah. Oh, I had no idea that he died. Yeah. Oh, she, he, wow. might, he, could, he might as well have one of these deaths. <laughs> <laughs> This, this, this movie is ridiculous, man. And considering there was no body, how is Grace in prison for murder? Yep. If there's no body, then okay, you're just mm -hmm. saying random stuff. We found some blood in yeah, your house. You say you killed this guy, but we can't find the body, and this is where you said it was. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense. No. 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 Yeah. no I think, I mean. That's not, that's it, not how it works. <laughs> yeah. Also, the, the caption her password by taking a photo of her computer screen. <laughs> oh, and multiple the, times. And how he mm -hmm. caught and how he mm -hmm. uh, and how she caught him. Apparently no one can catch this guy, even though he's been through multiple accounts, but she easily found him on a on a security uh footage. Which the bank which, would and, check. And, and the bank the bank would check, but nobody saw that. Nope. And it looks like the clearest 4K footage you could ever find. I mean oh, yeah. he's right there making deals and shit, <laughs> smiling, <coming laughs> walking around, yeah, walking in, yeah. Shaking hands with all the other bankers. Yeah, how you doing? Nobody <laughs> saw this dude. No. At all, coming in and, and, and getting into her account. Yeah. There's no paper trail. There's no digital trail. Jesus Christ, man. Let me get the f*** out of here before I get this to f*** you. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, but then logic starts to kick in. I, you know, I, logic is, that's where I draw the line, man. Uh, we're trying to get to, I'll put this up first. We're trying to get to 2,500 subscribers before May ends, and we need to reach that. Uh, that is what we need to have to, to keep the business going. 